but y'all just saw her there say that she spectrum uh, autistic without a clinical diagnosis. She self diagnosed herself. So now are we are, are, are what people are saying that they trans autistic now? Like everybody is on this train. You're now tuned into Gutta and Saint. Consider the greatest spitting. I tell them I'm Christ like they envision modern Christian. I tell them I'm nothing like check conditions of how I'm living. I preach Christ, we ain't fake delivering. Listen, candy man, as soon as they know. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know, it's about how much Bible you're willing to obey. Amanda Sills is a very intelligent and talented young lady. No one can dispute that or take that away from that young sister. She's she, she's very she, you know she's very educated as well. So after watching her interview on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp, I can honestly say just from my observation, she is very hurt, full of trauma and pain. And here's the crazy thing, and this is her problem. She is too educated and full of pride, in my honest opinion, to get the help she truly needs. Now, this is the reason why I say that she's too educated and full of pride to get the help she needs. On a particular part of that interview, she said she was diagnosed with being autistic. I recently was diagnosed as someone who has autism spectrum disorder, okay. which is very difficult to identify in black women because of racism in a different way. So you're neurodivergent and you also have uh, certain tendencies that are considered outside of what the neurotypical way of things is. Okay. And a lot of times that can have you present in a manner that people misrepresent. Okay. Okay. Which is the story of my Okay. okay. Now, as we all just saw right there in that clip, she said that she was diagnosed with being autistic. We saw that. She said she was, you know, spectrum autistic. We just saw that in that clip. And then she took to her IG live after being criticized online and people was calling her out, calling her out. She took to her IG live to say that she didn't say that she was clinically diagnosed but she pretty much diagnosed herself. Uh, they cut out at the end. He was asking, no, I have not been clinically diagnosed by a doctor because I'm not paying $10,000 to do that. And most people will tell you that at this age, you don't need a clinical diagnosis in, the, in that sense. And I think that's the other thing. It's like, we are so um, conditioned here in this nation to um really only consider something in one kind of way and uh i will get back to that y'all i can't make this up that's the reason why i say you know she's too educated to get the help she needs because she feel like she's smarter than everybody and that's actually what we're seeing a lot on social media with a lot of Unfortunately, a lot of our sister these days, and this is no shot sisters. Don't take this the wrong way, but y'all just saw her there say that she spectrum uh, autistic without a clinical diagnosis. She self diagnosed herself. So now are we are, are, are what people are saying that they trans autistic now? Like everybody is on this trans. Everybody's doing on this trans train, trans this and trans that. Now, like now we're doing this whole thing with trans autism. Like what's what's going on here, man? We we it's it's really hard right now to take anybody serious these days. I don't care how educated you are. It's really hard to take anybody serious these days. In my honest opinion, women like this, you know, they use their diagnosis in, in, as a weapon. They use it as a weapon. And this is the reason why I say they use it as a weapon. They weaponize their diagnosis, you know, when they get to, when they get to acting out, when they get to acting all crazy and talking crazy and behaving irate and all that stuff. They weaponize that diagnosis. I'm noticing that a lot of people are saying they diagnosed with di this and diagnosed with that. They bipolar, the Kanye West disease, act out on in public and blame it on him being bipolar. 
it's it's happening all the time amongst the black community. It's women like Amanda Seals and many other women and men who start acting crazy and pointing the finger at everybody else, like, like you know, everybody else the problem except them. If this person don't change or this person don't behave the way I believe they should behave, they are the problem and not me. People like that, you gotta be very careful around. Here's the fact of the matter. Everybody been saying this in the industry, you know, Amanda Seals is like Monique. She's a problem to deal with. She's very difficult to work with on any set, you know, because she's always finding issues with everybody and, and never trying to look within herself. You know, I, and I don't care what nobody say. Nobody likes to work with people who's problematic. You know, every time, you know, they feel offended about something, they get the lashing out. Nobody like working with problematic people. What's dangerous is with this whole self diagnosis thing now with this Amanda Seals, I'm watching a lot of young women, a bunch of women on TikTok, self diagnose themselves with spectrum autism now. You can't make this up. They now they using them being spectrum autistic, they using that as a way that they can get over on being rude, talking nasty, and and just being irate with people. Then they, you know, I'm I'm autistic. You gotta you gotta part when uh, when I get mad, I get amplified and all this that and the third. Look, all y'all listen. Uh, this is what I want y'all to do. Go search and put in the search bar on TikTok on um, women, black women, autism. You're going to see all these women self-diagnose themselves with spectrum autism. What if men start saying, well, I behave in the way I behave because I'm spectrum bipolar. I behave the way I behave because I'm spectrum autism. I'm lashing out. I am angry. I am aggressive because I am autistic. I I have bipolar disease. Like 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 Kanye West and now Amanda Seals is doing. What if men begin to say the same thing? Because we see on the internet women is blaming men for being aggressive, angry, and all this stuff. Now, what if men can now weaponize the fact that you know what? I'm a self-diagnose myself with autism. I mean, I bet you if men would have started doing this, it's going to be women like Amanda Seals. They're going to start uh, looking at men like we we crazy. They, they will start looking at us like we're suspect. Like, that's why I say it's dangerous for people to start self-diagnosing themselves with stuff. Hey, there is clinicians out there that does this every day. Let them diagnose you if that's what you feel like you have. They want to weaponize these beha th these mental illnesses just so they can get away with their poor behavior and chalk it up to that. Now, her reasoning behind not going to a clinician or a professional to get professionally diagnosed with being spectrum autism is because she said it costs $10,000 and she ain't want to pay the $10,000 to go get, you know, uh, clinically diagnosed. You ain't want to pay. She ain't want to pay the ten thousand dollars, so she self diagnosed herself. This, I'm this is you can't make this up. People like Amanda Seals, you got to just leave them to their own destruction. You got to leave Amanda Seals to her own destruction. You got to leave Kanye West to, the, to his own destruction. You got to leave people like that to their own destruction. And that's that's and I think that's what the um the entertainment business is doing with Amanda Seals. People is not working with her because they're like, yo, it's just not worth it. They'd rather not deal with her. And I get it because I wouldn't want to deal with somebody like that. It's just it's just too much. I don't think that the people not they don't like her. I don't think they not like her. You know, what I mean, the fact of the matter is she's hard to deal with. And the moment you approach them and you try to correct them, they start lashing out and they feel like they are beyond reproach. Y'all see how she started talking about Issa Rae on it. I ain't never heard Issa Rae talk crazy about Amanda Seals. Why Issa, why Amanda Seals is coming? At, but I, that's another topic for another day, man. None of us like working with people who's not coachable, who's beyond reproach that we can't tolerate. None of us. Nobody likes working with hard-headed people. 
Hey, man, I think y'all for rocking out with me. It's your boy, Reese Johnson. This is the Gutter Scene Podcast. Do something for the podcast today. You go to our merch store right now, gasmerch.com. Every hoodie in our stock right now, you can get and then get a free Vintage Saint t-shirt for free. You get With every purchase of a hoodie or sweatshirt, you get a Vintage Saint t-shirt for free. Limited time only, man. You can click down. The, the, the link should be down in the description box. You can click gasmerch.com, go cop up your hoodie, tell a friend who will tell a friend, share it out, man, share out the broadcast, man. I thank y'all for rocking with me, and I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Peace. Gasmerch.com Vintage Saint Collection Cutta and Saint Abstract Collection Shop now at gasmerch.com Consider the greatest spitting. I tell them I'm Christ like they envision modern Christians. I tell them I'm nothing like check conditions of how I'm living. I preach Christ, we ain't fake. Candy man, as soon as they know. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know. It's about how much Bible you willing to obey.